Have you ever wondered what keeps 20% of the internet fast, secure, and online? And what happens when it falters? That's Cloudflare. Cloudflare, founded in 2009 and based in San Francisco, is a powerhouse behind services like CDN, reverse proxy, DNS, caching, web application firewall, and DDoS mitigation. It handles nearly one in five websites globally. Here's how it works. When you type a website address, Cloudflare's DNS translates that into an IP and routes your request through its global network of over 330 data centers. That's the reverse proxy in action, shielding origin servers, balancing load, encrypting traffic, and caching content close to you for speed. Sites use Cloudflare because it boosts performance, strengthens security, and improves uptime. Its CDN and caching reduce latency, the WAF and DDoS protection fend off attacks, and its DNS ensures reliability, even under pressure. But what happens when Cloudflare itself goes down? On November 18, 2025, a configuration file meant to manage threat traffic ballooned in size, triggering a crash across its network. The result? Massive outages. Platforms like ChatGPT, X, Canva, Spotify, League of Legends, NJ Transit, Shopify, Dropbox, Coinbase, and even public transit systems went dark or through 500 errors. That outage began around 11.20 UTC, or 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and was resolved by mid-afternoon UTC, but not before millions of users and services were impacted. Cloudflare's outage shows how much of the internet depends on a single provider. When it hiccups, the ripple effect is global. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit follow for more tech explainers, and let me know what topic you want demystified next.